Our recent question comes from someone who has asked us, Ron, do you think that the recent COVID-19 pandemic is going to change the way people go about their life? I think in the short to medium term, it will definitely shape our attitude and the way we go about our life and work in the short to medium term, not in the long term. And the reason I say that is because if you actually look at human history, we continue to repeat the same mistakes from the past. And it seems that we don't always learn from history. So I think humans have a short memory and we tend to become hyper focused on recent events and it certainly alters our attitudes and our behaviors for the short to medium term but i think in the long term human beings always go back to their normal way of doing things now let's talk about how i think things are going to change in the short to medium term when it comes to people's attitudes and behaviors well number one attitude to risk you're going to see two types of people ones who now are going to go you know what after what has happened, I'm going to throw all caution to the wind and I'm going to start to take risks that I've never taken before. Okay, so these people maybe in the past were a bit too conservative, a bit too contained about their ambitions, but now they're going to go for it. They're going to go for that job. They're going to ask that person out. They're going to go for that trip. They're going to start to take some risks. We're also going to see a second demographic which is going to now become quite risk averse because of recent events because of all the reporting in the media around the number of deaths as well as the number of people infected you're going to see a lot of people actually become even more risk averse they're going to start to demonstrate a lot of caution and conservatism in their behaviors they're going to start to exercise a high level of safety because after what's happened they've gone into a little bit of fear They've gone into a little bit of hesitation and doubt and so they're going to start to become really, really conservative and they're going to sort of balance the other section of society who are starting to embrace risk. We'll see a, a, a huge population, a huge segment of the population that are going to become risk averse. The second change in attitude that we're going to see, which kind of connects to the first point that I made, is the attitude towards future. Now, the f there is going to be a segment of the population that are going to start to not care too much about the future and start living in the present and start to enjoy today and not worry too much about their future, their future planning, their future career growth, family, that sort of stuff. And they're going to say, you know what, life's too short. I've got to get out there and have fun. I've got to experience more. At the same time, you're also going to see a segment of society who are going to say, you know what, I, I need to start planning for my future. I can't let my career and my business and my livelihood be impacted the way it was because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And I'm going to start to make sure that I'm a lot more well planned and prepared for the future. So again, you're going to start to see these two groups emerging and they're going to have very different way of how they handle their future because of the recent events. The third change in attitude that you're going to see is a shift in the attitude towards work. Again, you're going to see a portion of the, the society that are going to say, you know what, I need to go for the work that I've always loved. I need to start to enjoy what I do. I need to seek inspiration, fulfillment and meaning in my work because you know, um, I can't I can't be putting my bets on a job that doesn't inspire me. Life is way too short, so I've really got to start to find that thing that lights me up. At the same time, you're going to start to see a whole new section of society that are basically going to go. Life is not all about work, you know, and uh, it, it's it's really about me spending more time with family. I need to do the things that I enjoy. And what they're going to do is they're not going to make work a big primary focus in their life. They're going to start to engage in the types of things that they've probably been putting off in the past and they're going to go, you know what, it's time for me to start to pick up those things because I don't want to spend all my, my life at work. I need to start to do other things as well because that balance was missing. 
The fourth shift that I think you're going to see is the shift in attitude towards money. Again, you're going to see one category of people that are going to say, you know what, I've got to really start to enjoy. Who cares about the future? I'm going to start to spend my money on things that I haven't done before and they're going to go for it. And then again, you're going to start to see another section of society that are going to start to say, I need to start to plan for my financial future. I need to start to invest. I need to start to save money because you never know what can happen. So again, you're going to start to see these two different attitudes emerging because of recent events. And I think that one of the last attitude shift that we're going to start to see is we're going to start to see a move away from God in many cases. A lot of people are going to say, you know what, where is God in all of this? You know, where is divine intervention? How many people have died? How can God let this happen? And so you're going to see a lot of people that are going to move away from spirituality, religion and God because they're going to say, well, if there was a God, where was God? Why didn't God intervene? How can some millions of people die and be infected and God doesn't help? And But at the same time, you're going to see another section of society that are going to say, you know what? We are so not invincible. And they're going to start to realize that, you know, life is indeed very precious and they're going to start to move towards God. They're going to say, you know what? Life can't just be about this. We can't trust our governments. We can't trust our politicians. There's got to be a bigger intelligence. People are going to start to feel really lonely and a lot of them are going to start to feel really insecure. So they're going to start to seek out religion, God and spirituality so that they can feel connected to something greater because they're starting to realize that they can't really depend on their governments. They can't even depend on their employers. And so there's going to be this shift to towards spirituality for a lot of people because they're going to say, you know, I, after what has happened, who knows, you know, and I don't want to find out that there is a God. I need to believe in something greater than me because I've just realized, you know, that I'm not invincible and life can take a turn very, very quickly. So again, when there is a major crisis, you do see an emergence of very different attitudes. But again, as I said to you, these attitudes are not long term. They just, uh, you'll see this fundamental uh, shift in people's attitudes and behaviors for the short to medium term but in the long term if there is not another crisis you will see that people will revert back to their original being thinking and original behavior uh, things that they've already got habitual patterns to and after a while when everybody forgets that this happened people will return back to their normal behaviors it may take two three four five years but eventually you will see that people revert back to their original behavior it always happens that's what history has proven to us thank you for the question